All right, good evening and welcome to the Sunderland Board of Selectmen meeting. It is Monday, August 21st, and it is 6.35 p.m. And our first order of business is an appointment for the kitchen garden, but it looks like they're not here yet. So we will move on to minutes first. We have minutes first. We have two minutes from two nights. We have minutes from the Monday, August 7th meeting. Take a look at those first. Okay. Have a second on those? Uh, second, the minutes of August 7th. Mm -hmm. All right. And all those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Three to zero, Sherry. And then we have minutes from August 9th. Motion. Have a second on that one? Uh, move the minutes of August 9th also. Okay. Second. Okay. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Uh, three to zero on that one, Jerry. Um, maybe we'll do old business slash updates next. Have any uh, any updates, Tom? Um, I I would just say that uh, we we had a uh, a letter that came from a resident concerning nuisance houses with the school starting back up yes yep. um i the town clerk and sherry have uh pulled out the um bylaws that we accepted a few years ago have passed those along to the chief um the chief is reviewing that the the bylaws with with his staff and they will will start enforcing them um i just remind everybody that um the Police don't necessarily just drive around looking for concern <laughs> like that. So if you have a concern, um, please call the uh, please call us. Police, um, they will um, begin the enforcement by a um, handing out leaflets to describe the bylaws and hope that'll do the trick. And if that doesn't do the trick, they will. Um, ratchet up the enforcement. So, I, I would say if you have a concern, um, do not hesitate to call the police. We do have in, in our bylaws, I think, most of what we need to enforce the concerns of nuisance houses. Yep, yeah. yeah, just try to be considerate of your neighbors and everything. That's an important thing out there. That's it, Dave. Yeah. Uh, if, if I could, Mr. Chair. Mm -hmm. uh, really tying into that you know we have a uh, population that moves into the valley and is in the process of uh, moving into the pioneer valley yep. so in the town of Sunderland, we're going to see increased bus traffic you're going to see more cars right. those quiet sunday mornings especially in old amherst road in that corner simply might be going away soon yeah however uh it's it's the town that participates in that welcoming by being aware especially dusk watch those crosswalks yep. we end up educating this this particular population of students uh, almost every year and frankly we're pretty good at it yep that's true there's a lot of u-hauls out there there's a lot of u-hauls yep. that time of year <laughs> uh, mr chair if i also could um, add that's old business slash new business is mm. that we are already into september um last year at town meeting we had a huge discussion concerning personnel bylaws and such. Mm -hmm. uh, yep. It would be nice if the personnel committee could start meeting sooner versus later so that we can address the issues so we don't let it um, get back towards February, March before we start talking about it once again. Yep, summer break is over. Well, I just know one thing. I just... I personally don't want to have that same discussion again next year. I'd rather see the dog wag the tail than the tail wag the dog. Yep. And, and that, and it's just be, and because, what, and, and why I say that is because sometimes when we when we have coming in from all different sides, um, people's feelings get hurt. Um, they don't believe that their their voices are being heard, and really the voices need to be heard now, um, not later when 
and, and things aren't being consistent. And I and and it has to be a reason. And we don't want to treat one department different than another. And a lot of times, if we don't we don't act on it now, we end up treating one department differently. Um, no one's out there championing raises for the highway department. Um, no one's out there um, championing raises for uh, the dog catcher. Um, that's why we have to do it now. Schedule a meeting for that. So, uh, any updates? Uh, uh, no, nothing. Uh, Sherry. Community Compact has just announced their year three best practices. So I sent the link around to the board to take a look to see if there's something that, so that yeah. um, might interest you. Um, we're only allowed to pick two this year. Last time we picked three. And so the best practices that we chose last time were the complete streets, capital planning, and there was an HR mm -hmm. um, yep. as well. And so the complete streets um, best practices, we developed our prioritization plan and, and it turned into a $394,000 grant for implementation of those um, priorities and best practices. So there's good things. Um, there's a lot of categories to look at and things that are available. So we can only pick two, so I was hoping for some input there. There is an HR piece where there's a compensation and classification um, best practices that they would help us with. Um, there's things under education, public safety. There's more financial management um, best practices that we could work on. We did the capital planning with the FERCOG um, last year, and we have a capital plan in place. So there's a lot to do. There's no deadline. It started on August 15th, and the applications are being accepted on a rolling basis. Did window close? Um, no. Really? No, no close on that one. <laughs> right. Um, what else do I have for you? The FCAT um, PEG agreement, um, you have a draft of that as well. I did let Chris know we're just m missing one of the exhibits, the um, equipment list. Okay. And I did put the uh, quarterly payment schedule in there, so that'll probably be ready for approval at your next meeting. Okay. And then the other thing that I have for you is the uh, memorandum of understanding with the Mass Association of Planning Commissions for the LED streetlight conversion. Yep. What that will do is reserve grant funds for the town so that we can do the LED street convert, uh, streetlight conversion. We appropriated capital funds to purchase the lights, so that was step one. You have to purchase them, and then you can apply for the grant funding for the LED conversion. Um, it is a reimbursable grant, so it will require town meeting approval. We have to upfront the money. Yep. And then it's paid back through incentives and um, through a partial grant. Um, the savings for that um, is a $6,000 per year um, on streetlights. So there's a, about a three-year three, three year payback on the okay. That's, that's from the, the total turnover, right? For the, per, the purchase is capital. We understand yep. that. Yep. Then the ch actual change out is a, essentially a three-year buy-down. Right. That will um, get us the audit, yep. the design, project yes. management, um, the labor, the fixtures. Um, the grant itself is four thousand fifty-nine ninety-eight. The utility incentive is uh, five thousand six hundred and twenty-eight seventy-five. Nice. So, Given the lifetime of those, it's a pretty good yeah. three years. Yeah. So if, if everything goes accordingly yeah. and we have a fall town meeting and we get approval, the um, LED streetlight conversion would take place next summer. Right. Oh, good. Good. <clears throat> and then a $6,000 savings. Right. So that's... Yeah, pay for itself in two years. That's very good, yeah. All right, fantastic. All right. I'll check that off our new business section. <laughs> All right. And I see our kitchen garden guest is here now. So. Sorry, my kitchen's not quite done. Oh, that's, that's all right. That's all right. still work to do, I bet. Uh, it's pretty much wrapped it up. Good job. Yeah. That's good. Um, so I see that you're here for the annual liquor license for the Chili Fest. Um, and 
did we have this just done the usual review with the mm -hmm. chief of police and everything? And yes, everybody has any, signed off. Any mm -hmm. comments? Okay, that's no good. Um, so this is sort of your opportunity to come up and give it the annual plug. So okay. if you want to do that. Yeah. Uh, so Chili Fest <clears throat> is September 16th and 17th this year at Mike C. Hayes, as usual. Um, we've got an awesome lineup of ways to celebrate hot peppers at the Rowan Farm <laughs> and on the South Silver Lane. Um, so, yeah, we've got four different bands each day. We've got um, a nice selection of local beers, um, including Hitchcock, which is right next to us where we're farming also in Lakeview nowadays. Oh, oh, okay. Very local. So we do chef demos, three different ones each day, but we also have a hands-on DIY pickle tip. So yeah, okay. you can select which peppers, you can select which whole peppers or sliced peppers and make your own beautiful uh, colorful pickle. Pickle peppers? Pepper yeah, I was just going to say. This is my new poster. This is my old design with this year's dates that I can share with you. Okay. The poster is almost finalized. All right, great. Um, so I don't think we have any issues with this. So um. the only thing new in the alcohol department is um, in addition to the local beers, we also have uh, ginger libation. Oh yeah. We have okay. a special hot pepper spicy libation. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay. Okay. There you go. <coughs> sort of turning into a solid sound yeast kind of with chili peppers thrown in, huh? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, do you have any other questions on that? Or? Yeah. That was the concern certificate. We've got recommendations from the chiefs. We have a, uh, an event that showcases uh, the fine wares of our farmers as well as our town. So, what's, what could be wrong? Exactly. Right. It would be a hot event tomorrow. It could be a hot event. And of course, I should mention that the hot sauce competition is open to public entries. Oh, nice. We have now oh, okay. the advice of Steve Ball to help the permit turn the chili cook-off into a restaurant chef only. Yep. Um, with a battle of the chefs kind of situation, it's a Sunday hot sauce competition is open to anyone who wants to enter. Brilliant. Well, that stuff probably kills all germs. <laughs> so, Low pH. You know, right. Low pH. <laughs> Love it. All right. Well, there you go. That's a, a nice little uh, tidbit for folks. So. Brilliant. Uh, move, move to grant the two-day permit as requested. Seventeen. I'm sorry. September 16th and 17th of this year to uh, uh, Carolyn and Kitchen Garden Farm for the Chili Fest. Mm -hmm. Second for discussion. Yep. Good. Um, Sherry, in the future, when, when we have a policy and guideline mm -hmm. for these, can can we just can can we just have this filled out checklist. so that when checklist. we look oh, the checklist. Yep. when we look at the application, there's no you know that there's no question that it's actually been it gone through the step right. So, mm -hmm. but we're, I'm I believe I I've read in in our readings that the police chief, fire chief, building commissioner. I don't know about the Board of Health agent, but the first three yeah, have. Yeah. Yeah. But you know, it'd be nice just to see little right. check marks next to them. Okay. And that's that's why we did a form, as opposed to form. an email, an email chain, and all that. I agree, right? Because right. yeah. yeah. it's a nice. Event. I mean, it would have been diff it's different if we had all had the little laptops here, and we right. could just go down and we could see these emails. Yep. But until that happens. Yep. Okay. Yeah, it makes a perfect cover sheet for it too. So you've got all your things checked off right now. Absolutely. So, thank yep. you, Dean. Yep. Uh, makes perfect sense. Um, okay. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, opposed? No. All right. Three to zero, Sherry. All right. Thanks. Awesome. Thank you. Should I leave a couple of these on the... Sure. That'd be yeah. great. Thank you. You should have put those right out. You also have to tell us where to get the t-shirts, you know. Oh, yeah. I actually placed the order today. So oh, yeah. And we do this once a year, so... Nice. Yeah. All right. Brilliant. Okay. Right. okay. Thanks. All right, so now we have, um, under new business, um, we have our draft of public records guidelines. I see Wendy's been busy. Yes, she has. <laughs> yeah. um, that template is from Coleman and Page, so it's yep. been okay. reviewed. Okay. 
So, um, do you want us to review these and then at, at our next one? Um, yeah, if you want to adopt them at the next, next meeting, one? that's okay. fine. If you feel you're ready tonight, it's yeah. okay too. If, if I could, Mr. Chair, the only the only question that was out there is about the extent at which you went off of RAOs, and I like the fact that the RAO list is short. It speaks yes. to the. It, I don't mean more work for the for Sherry, or Wendy, or for Chief of Police, but having the original discussion around board chairs, committee chairs, you know, for the too records request, RAOs. too many RAOs. I like this format. Yep. I think if the rest is has been, I believe, as Sherry has said, the rest have been uh, from a template used across the customer base of Coltman and Page, which is hundreds of communities. Yeah. I, I wouldn't have any trouble adopting this as of today, knowing that we can always amend in the future. Yep. And I think it... The more consistently across the common, more consistency across yes. the Commonwealth, yes. I think, the better for everybody. Really, yep. when we're trying are to you making it. a motion, Mr. Bergeron? Yeah, if I could, Mr. Chair, uh, I make a motion to adopt this uh, as presented. Again, knowing that we'll have this as a as a guideline, and we can amend in the future. Okay. Second. Okay. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Three to zero. I'm not one sure. So those who join our Policies and procedures. procedures and back yes. of the right. Yep. Exactly. Oh, we'll forward next week to see it. <laughs> exactly right. <laughs> All right. So we got that, and we covered our um, MOU for the streetlight conversion. Now, is the MOU actionable by the board right now? We have. Yeah. Let's. We have what's essentially examples, and this because it's an MOU associated with money. If I could, yeah. Mr. Chair, I'd like yes. to. I'd like to take a week to digest this. Yep. And we can uh, vote on it at our next meeting. Yeah. Does work, timing-wise? No issues with that? Is there a timing? Uh, yes and no? They're holding funds for us. I, uh, I think that would be okay. What is the uh, fund distribution uh, deadline if we don't take action on at least the MOU? And has council been through this? Um, this is part of the um, DOER. Uh-huh. Uh, green communities grants. The Got funding it. is um, being distributed through the NAPC. I see, I see, I um, see. So the, it's just a memorandum of understanding, and there's some milestones in here. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, for instance, true. if we didn't get town meeting approval, right. we're not Could, obligated couldn't in go any way. Yeah, right. we're not obligated in any way. But, I, yeah, I think we can go one more meeting. If well, uh, the only thing I'm, I'm just thinking about the calendar, right? We have um, our next meeting is not until September 11th. Next week, the 4th is Labor Day, so we actually won't be meeting again until the 11th, right? Yeah. Um, does that... Is that too late? We do have a, an unusually long gap there between meetings. Well, we have a. Have we? Can I, if I could, Mr. Chair, yeah. page two. Um, Article, I'm sorry, uh, bullet point number seven. Will we notify the utility by August 31st that we're beginning our incentive reservation? Yes. Okay. So we have an October 31st. Yeah. We have to have we a complete audit. And okay. then, so and then that, November, and then, but. The no, that's if we don't have the funding in place. He said this is all, um, it's. It's not carved in stone right. because we don't we haven't had town meeting action yet, so Got there's it. no funds appropriated to Got conduct it. the uh, audit. Gotcha. So the dates are flexible. So we really wouldn't be doing these until after our town meeting. Yeah, and, and I told them that would probably sometime October or November. Okay. okay. We will need to have a town meeting before the end of the year for the park grant, and mm -hmm. then we have to um, take care of the peg. Big access stuff. Yeah. Okay. Before we set the tax rate, so. So we'll probably be all right then. Yeah. I think. 
just because the town meeting is really going to be the big arbiter of that. So, okay. All right. And then he said, if you know, if we decided that there, for some reason there wasn't going to be a special, um, we could wait to the annual too. Again, it's just a memorandum of understanding with some milestones outlined. Everything's you know subject to appropriation, and this is just. They're holding the funds, knowing that we have already appropriated funds to purchase the yeah. lights. Okay. Um, so they can see that they see that the town's committed to the project. This is more more helpful for the, the actual tasks that need to be done, and not so much the dates on them. Right. But okay. Yeah. Any concerns or questions on the town? Okay. So we'll wait for this for our next meeting. Okay. Yep. That sounds good. Next, we have FY17 appropriation transfer deficit accounts. So what's, our, what's the lovely update on this here? Um, so the town accountant is looking for this to close the books. He did the finance committee, I guess, did sign off. So um, for some reason, we have two forms this year. They, he didn't put in a spot for the selectmen. Um, unless for some reason the board would like to um, wait until town meeting and we could do some transfers from stabilization and then pay it back at the annual town meeting from free cash. I mean, there's still, uh, you know, an option there unless you want to raise um, the deficit amount on the recap. What's been our past practice when we've come across ones like this? Has, it's been a while since we've had something like this. If, if I could, Mr. Chair, yeah, I'm sure that the 20163 for snow and ice, was that within the extensions granted by the board? Yes. Okay. And that was, so that's not a surprise. We have, we are off, we offered that and that's okay. Yeah. Uh, obviously things like town insurance, Medicare, they're closing out at the end of the year. That's, that's, that goes through an assessment and then finally a, a final invoicing. Pretty straightforward. And if I could take the opportunity, Mr. Chair, those two things right there in particular are one of the reasons that our um, treasure collector was so adamant about the insurance line itself. Right. At, at, in the expense line and, and really reluctant to reduce that. Yep. So here we are at year's end with what looks like $6,800 in, in both pieces of insurance insurance that have to be raised otherwise so I give I give again I want to give credit to the the budgeting team that pushed for that and was reluctant to reduce it at our time um, fire salaries is on call it's pretty straightforward police salaries four hundred eight dollars the chief understands that can't happen again this year so we have appropriate trans we have some funds that we can transfer from that's what this appropriate transfer from is for available right. and then there's reserve fund available so between the two we're talking about raising on the recap sheet an additional ten thousand and fifty dollars mm -hmm. i could say as only a statement that um raising on the recap sheet is is a Something that years ago, the Finance Committee and Board, uh, prior to the current composition, even my own election to this body, um, was trying to get away from only in that it doesn't necessarily show um, the appropriating body, this being town meeting, where those monies actually went, kind of paying for the bill afterwards. Yeah. And uh, we steered away from that. This is the first year in a long time that's happened. Is clear and accounting of the yeah. fund movements. Yeah, don't get me wrong. Some of that happens on the recap through assessments. If there's changes that happen at the state level, other other, but not on our own spending. Yeah. Okay. And since there's only FinCom signatures on the form, what do I care? <laughs> Yeah, I know. Okay. And maybe uh, increasing the snow and ice mm. budget a little bit this year might be a coming in. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Great point. But, but Great to, point. To your point too, though, that, that this kind of backs up the argument about insurance too. So it's, it, it, it's, it illustrates. Absolutely right. So absolutely right. That, that was all, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Yeah. Any comments, Tom? Well. 
I would say in the past we've written off hundreds of thousands. Hundred. Oh, I agree. Thousands of dollars. Right. Snow and, and ice. Yes. For snow and ice. Yeah. Yeah. Snow. Yeah. And yeah. snow and ice is now down to twenty thousand. Correct. Um, I. I no, the only thing I'll disagree with is that everybody. If you look at our minutes, uh, everyone's well aware of that we're in deficit spending for snow and ice yep. flat this past year. Yeah. So I don't know if you can say your your people would be unaware. Um, mm -hmm. because we do have public meetings and we do have minutes. And George came in. And George was here. Yep. Um, Twice. I, I understand the concept. Mm -hmm. Um but and not, we're not breaking a law because it's one of the few things that's allowed to be deficit sure. spending for. Sure. Yes. I understand what, what Scott, I understand what you're saying. Um, and I just think our financial team needs to, they just needed to put this into. Uh, I totally get it. Before we got, because everybody knew about it. Right. right. I wasn't singling out snow and ice. Right. I was simply raising on the recap in right. general right. as a concept. Yeah. Methodology. We voted to raise snow and ice. I totally get mm -hmm. that. Okay. I'm fine. Okay. Um, you want a motion on that? Yeah. Motion. Is there a second? I'll second the motion to uh, fund the deficit accounts as presented. Uh, all those in favor? Right. Aye. Opposed? All right. Three to zero, Sherry. I don't have to close that up. And lastly, another one, another item in the MOU department. <laughs> it's, it's, MO, it's MOU night. It's Moon Night. Moon night. Yeah. <laughs> New fiscal year. Yes. Yeah, that's true. So this looks like our, um, is this our annual um, mm -hmm. yes. item for the Franklin County yeah. Solid Waste Management District? Yeah. Landfill monitoring. Yep, and this is one of those things where you you don't miss, you get to see the benefits also when you get to take your items outside of the town sure. and dispose sure. of them there. So, um, you want to just give us a, just a little quick recap of that, Sherry? Uh, this is for the landfill inspection, third party inspection of the town's municipal landfill. And the district shall invoice the town $250 for the inspection service. And come out and check on that to make sure nothing is going awry at the old landfill. Keep the DEP happy. Yep. Yeah. That's what that's for. Do uh, we have a motion on the second move of the evening? Uh, motion for, for discussion. Yes. I'll second. The, I, I think one of the things that we used to have is we used to have a, um, in the regionalization Component. Mm -hmm. This is probably the most successful program that we have. Yeah. Um, everything from how we get rid of our sludge at the wastewater treatment plant um, is a is a number one thing. But um, the, they're offering to they saved us. And it is, again, it's not a lot of money that they save on this particular item to, for for performing the monitoring, um, but it's money that they save us. Mm -hmm. yeah. And and I. I don't like to miss an opportunity mm -hmm. to say for a board that seems just trying to spin this town of Sunderland out of creation. Um, we do every dollar that we spend. We try to make sure that we're getting getting the best bang for the buck. Mm -hmm. And this is and, and why we only save a few hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. This is very important. At the same time, the Franklin County Solid Waste Management District, which we are a member of. If you have large items that you want to get rid of, you do have options. That's right. Uh, there's a couple, and you can go on their webpage. They have a very extensive webpage. You, um, and they have um, opportunities in the fall and the spring over at Whiteley uh, that we can go to Whiteley very easily or Orange or perhaps Shelburne, wherever the other places are. But you go to the bulky item base there. Yeah. Um, yeah, Greenfield, yeah. You also have the ability on every and any day that they're open is to, to utilize the Greenfield Transfer Station. And they have a listing of the uh, costs. I mean, you pay a $5 additional fee because you're not a resident of Greenfield, but you can go to Greenfield Transfer Station and you can get, get rid of items as well. Um, so I, I would, for anybody that liked, that has 
beds or chairs or refrigerators or whatever, or, or you have large items, you can go online on the Franklin County Solid Waste. We are a member, the Town of Sundell is a member, and they'll tell you how you can dispose of this. As well as, they have a hazardous waste day just where you can get rid of hazardous waste as well. Right, get those old paints kicking around. Or yeah. yeah, well latex, latex paint, you can just open the lid and let it dry out. Right, yeah. But if you have an oil-based paint, All your things, yep. you can you can take it up there and, and or, to, or to the hazardous waste day and get, and get rid of it. Um, but I would say that go online and uh, you can learn an awful lot from the Franklin County Solid Waste Management District, what we can and can't do. Do we have the link? We should have a link to that on our website. There is, too, is there? There's something up on the website. I okay. think this hazardous waste day is coming up on September 23rd. Oh, that's a good thing to know. Yeah. Uh, and like Tom was mentioning, uh, if you want, want to check out the website, it's franklincountywastedistrict.org. So if you get any questions, uh, there should be a link on our website. If not, you can go right to that website and check it out. All right. <clears throat> we have a motion on this move? That way in a second. Uh, okay. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, oh, oh. Three to zero, Sure. So we've been moving right along. And we're moving right along. <laughs> That's nice. right. Nice. Uh, and now I think we've come to the historical part of the evening. <laughs> Before we get to our so important dates to remember. Sure. So, Mr. Chair, thank you. And if I could, uh, this is from uh, Ron Chernow's biography of uh, George Washington called Title Washington a Life. Uh, on April 18, 1783, Washington announced the cessation of hostilities between America and Great Britain. Great Britain. The normally prudent Washington, throwing caution to the wind, rhapsodized about America's future, saying of the patriotic soldiers who had wrested freedom from Great Britain that thrice happy, this is quote, thrice happy shall they be pronounced hereafter in erecting this stupendous fabric of freedom and empire on the broad basis of independence and establishing an asylum for the poor and oppressed of all nations and religions, unquote. George Washington. Especially with events that are going on. So our next meeting is... Pershing is my next one. Pershing. Nice. Our next great meeting that we'll be having will actually be on... Let's see. Hold on. It will be on September 11th because we have our, our skip week next week and then the following Monday is Labor Day. Mm -hmm. So um, everybody enjoy the holiday. Be careful out there. There are a lot of people, like Scott said, moving in and out. Uh, not just here, but throughout this whole section of the uh, valley. So there'll be a lot of activity going on. So enjoy uh, the rest of your summer and stay safe out there. School starts. That's right. School starts. Um, Our school starts. I don't, know the, I don't remember the exact date that it's starting. That'll be starting up soon, too. And school oh, buses will be around. You see the big yellow buses out, so please be careful. Right. Be that time. It takes a while to recognize that they're back out there. Yeah. And our, our police department will hopefully be following buses. and. Yes, and please stop happen. behind the school bus. Do not move around it, no matter what kind of rush you're in, because there are little kids out there. So, all right. Uh, we have a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Aye